special someone. Something special. Well, that's about the same type of gifts that I get every single year. Well, maybe not that bad. Welcome to Flynn Dog Woodwork. Today is all about the holidays, and I've got five unique holiday gifts that are perfect for woodworkers. So stick around with me, and I'll show you these five items. So this is the time of the year when my woodworking gets into full swing. And that's because I'm usually out in my shop making those holiday gifts for friends and family. And even though I enjoyed making gifts for people, it used to be extremely uncomfortable every single time I went in my shop. And that's because I used to have to bundle up with a hat and jacket just to get anything done. And in fact, if you were along with me last winter, you saw many videos where you could clearly see my breath. It was cold. <laughs> and I'm sure many of you currently struggle like I did with an unclimate controlled shop. So how can we make this woodworking journey just a little bit easier for ourselves in the winter? Well, I've got two items that might help. Let's take a look at our first item. So our first item of the day is the All Area Heating System 3.0, made by iHood. Let's see what this is all about. So you may be asking, what the hell is this? What the hell is this? That isn't a tool. Well, I know from experience that the struggle is real for woodworkers that don't have a climate-controlled shop. You see, it's 17 degrees here right now. In fact, this Sprite that I'm currently drinking, which is stored in the other area of my shop, is completely frozen, which is refreshing. It's very refreshing. But I probably wouldn't be recording this video right now if I didn't have heat. And that's why we need to take a look at this item. So what comes inside this bag? Well, you can see there's the vest itself, along with a battery pack and a charging cord. This vest also comes with instructions. And if you're like me, you've never seen a piece of clothing with instructions. But let's dig into this vest and see how it works. If we look at the interior of the vest, you can see there's a zippered pouch. And this comes with a covered USB port that you can plug directly into your battery pack. He runs on batteries. Let's take a closer look at that battery pack and I'll show you some of its features. If we take a look at the front of the battery pack, you can see there's a small display. And this gives you a dimly lit readout of where your battery level is at. If we look at the top of the battery pack, you can see there's two outputs on either side. There's also two inputs right in the middle. Now having those two outputs on this pack is really nice because not only could you be heating up your jacket, but you could also be charging your phone. But obviously that would drain your battery life and we're focused on heating our bodies. You have a toy body. Yes. And you're probably asking how long will this battery pack last? Well, depending on your settings and your temperature levels, this thing will last for a minimum of four hours and it can go as long as 10 hours. That's a long time. Yeah. And you can also purchase extra batteries, but four hours at max power is good enough for me. So let's dig into how this jacket works. So if we look just below the collar, you'll find this little button. And if we press and hold the center button for three seconds, this jacket will turn on. Once the jacket's on, there's four smaller buttons on that larger button. Let's take a look at those. If we take a look at the bottom button, this is simply a light that lets you know what the temperature settings are for the three main areas. And those settings are either red, white, or blue. The red setting is about 150 to 160 degrees Fahrenheit. The white setting is about 140 to 150 degrees Fahrenheit. And lastly, the blue setting is about 120 to 135 degrees Fahrenheit. And if we look at that button again, you can see there's three buttons along the top. And these are the buttons that allow you to control the temperature in three different areas. And the three areas where those heating elements are, are one for your neck and your ears, one for your back, as well as one for your torso and your love handles. And each one of those is controlled individually by a simple press of the button. And the hood, which is retractable, does a great job of warming up your ears. Now iHood also sells jackets and gloves as well, but I prefer the vest for woodworking as it allows you to easily maneuver your arms wherever they need to go and it prevents your sleeves from getting caught up in any machinery. So if you're looking to extend your woodworking just a little bit further into the season or if you're trying to find that perfect holiday gift for the woodworker in your life, check out some of these vests made by iHood. They're going to keep you warm. Now, if you remember from the beginning of the video, I said I've got two items that are going to make our winter woodworking just a little bit more comfortable. 
Now that we've taken a look at our first item, let's check out our second. So I like to call this old boy Boss Hog. This used to be my primary heating method in my shop all winter long. And she worked okay, other than the fact that she shot hot flames out of her mouth into a woodworking shop. And frankly, Boss Hog's huge. I mean, I can literally ride this thing. Saddle up, partner. And because of that, a salamander isn't always the best choice for a small shop. And that's why we're gonna take a look at our next item. So our next item of the day is the Vever All-in-One Diesel Heater. Let's check this one out. So this is the Vever All-in-One Portable Diesel Heater. And you can see from the size of my hand, the smaller footprint that this heater has. The world's greatest hat model. If we take a look at the accessories that come with this kit, you can see that it's meant to be either a temporary solution or a permanent solution. You could install this permanently inside of your workspace. Some of the accessories that are included with this kit include the following. You can see there's a liquid crystal switch along with the air outlet that leads to the blowpipe. <sighs> there's also an air filter as well as an intake pipe and lastly an escape pipe that leads to the silencer. So if you're looking for a permanent solution, this thing can do it. However, the manual shows that this thing might be perfect for somebody like a truck driver who needs a little extra heat in their cabin. And the nice thing about this unit is you can really take it anywhere as you only need 12 volts and 15 amps of power. So if you have an old battery laying around, you can fire this thing up. Now, one thing that I really didn't like with my old heating solution, Boss Hog, was that it was loud. <laughs> but right now, I have that Vever fired up and you can't even hear it. And this thing is on full blast right now, kicking out lots of hot air. Not only is it quiet, but it also has a nice feature that my salamander just didn't have. And that's a remote control to adjust the heat. Not only does this remote control have an on and off switch, but it also has a plus and minus button so that you can adjust the heat on the fly. If you're worried you might lose this remote like me, well, this thing also has Bluetooth connectivity. All you need to do is to download this app, Air Heater BLE, and you can control this thing from your phone. If we look at the front of the machine, you can see there's a digital readout that shows the current temperature as well as the time. You can easily adjust the temperature settings by pressing either the left button or the right button. This is also where you can turn the machine off by pressing the center button. And hopefully you caught that, but this heater actually talks to you. It's got a small speaker on the side that lets you know what your current settings are. Now, as I said before, this thing is diesel, which is great because a lot of these heaters actually run on kerosene. Kerosene is fuel, Brian. Red Bull is fuel. Kerosene is Red Bull. And because this machine runs on diesel, you should be able to get the fuel you need at any gas station. And this machine has a carrying capacity of one gallon of diesel fuel, and it's loaded at the very top. Now, although I haven't tested it out, they claim this machine only burns one-tenth of a gallon an hour. So you should be able to get 10 hours of use on one gallon of fuel. But this seems just a little bit optimistic in my view. Bullshit. But either way, a small diesel heater like this may be a great option for you if you're suffering in your shop all winter long. Well, that takes us through our first two items of the day, and obviously they're all about comfort in the shop through these cold winter months. Our first two items also make great holiday gifts for those woodworkers in your life, or if you just wanna get a gift for yourself. Before we move on to our third item, I ask you to do me a huge favor and hit that subscribe button. We've really made some progress and about 13% of the people that watch my videos are now subscribed, which is up from nine to 11%. Also, as a reminder, just like with all my videos, if any of these items interest you, I'll leave links in the description below so you can go check out any of these items for yourself. Now let's move on to our third item. So we're gonna continue with the comfort theme of this video and take a look at our next item, which is all about comfort. Since my floors are concrete, my legs can get really tired after a long day of woodworking. And that's why I love my two stools. The problem is these Rockler stools are a little expensive at just under $90. Now I could make my own stools and I fully intend on doing so. But in the meantime, I need to find a place to sit my fat butt down. So I decided to scour the interwebs and Amazon Deep to find a reasonably priced stool with the features I'm looking for. And those features are a stool without a back like the smaller one and a stool with wheels unlike my current ones. So did I find one? You bet, let's go check it out. So this next item is the Vever Rolling Saddle Stool. Let's check this out. 
So right out of the box, I can tell you I'm already impressed with this stool. It comes with a frame, five wheels, the airlock, as well as the seat, and there's no screws whatsoever. Now I'll tell you from experience, these Rockler stools come with a million parts and they're a little bit difficult to assemble. But this Weber appears to be easy peasy, so let me put this together. So let's compare these three stools. In the middle here, I have the Vever, and the seat on this thing is noticeably larger than both Rockler stools. Now one thing that's a must with any stool is the ability to adjust it up and down, and this Vever is no different than any other stool. And this stool has the ability to go from 21 inches tall all the way up to 29 inches. But unlike those Rockler stools, the Vever has an added feature, and that's the tilt function. By depressing the tilt button, you can adjust this chair backwards and forwards to get the angle you want. Woke up in full tilt withdrawal this morning. And lastly, this thing is on wheels, so you can roll it to anywhere you want in your shop. So if you're looking for a new stool with a couple of added features that many other stools just don't have, check out these saddle stools from Vever. And I didn't even mention the fact that it's noticeably more comfortable than either one of my Rockler stools. So we're getting pretty comfortable this winter in our shop. We've got our new stool, we've got our heater, as well as our heated jacket. Now let's move on to our next item, which is actually a tool. So the next item we're gonna take a look at is made by a small company based out of Canada. And I've taken a look at this tool in the past, but they've just made a recent upgrade. So I thought it was worth taking a look. So everybody hates Canadian tools. I get it. Wait, is that right? Is it Chinese or Canadian? Pretty sure it's Canadian. Anyway, let's move on. So what is this tool? Well, let's go grab it. So inside this box is the aluminum laser etched SawSet Pro. Let's take a look at it. So if you're not familiar with the SawSet Pro, it's an amazing tool that allows you to easily and quickly determine the angles of anything that your T-bevel is set to. And the nice thing about this tool is it not only helps you figure out those angles for single miter joints, but it also allows you to figure out those more complex double miter joints. Double trouble. So how does this thing work? Well, let's go check it out, taking a look at the original SawSet Pro, as well as the new aluminum laser etched one. So here's a look at both SawSet Pros. The original one, which is made out of plastic, is on top, and the new one is on the bottom. Now on one side of this tool, you'll have the single miter angles, and if you flip it around, you can see the double mitered angles. Now if we take a look at the new SawSet Pro, you'll notice a line running right down the middle, and a little notch at the bottom that's cut out, and this is where you're going to place your T-bevel. And it's this little notch that really makes this tool unique. It allows you to slide your T-bevel in, and whether you're measuring from one side or the other, it's that notch that allows your T-bevel to move freely. To use this tool, you simply slide the tool until it hits the center point of the tool, and then you can get your readout of the angle, in this case, just a little over 60 degrees. But you can also use this tool with your T-bevel facing the opposite direction. Let's take a look at that. So if your angle is going the other way, you simply slide your T-bevel over until it hits that center point again. In this case, we have a readout of just over 40 degrees. If we flip the tool around, we can also use this tool for a double miter. Let me show you what that's about. So for those of us that may be a little bit confused about what a double miter is, here's an example. If we take a look at this diagram, you can see that this wall is at 20.5 degrees. And that's exactly what this T-bevel is at. If we look at the readout, you can see the 20.5 degrees, and then we can go over to the miter saw, make the cut at 20.5 degrees, and this will give us a perfect match. I don't understand any of this! So if you're in construction or you're building something like a deck that's got a lot of angle, this is the perfect tool to make that job just a little bit easier. So what's the difference between the new aluminum saw set pro and the old plastic one? Well, there really isn't that much. Let me show you. Really, the only difference that I noticed was this little block in the center of the old SawSet Pro. This gave you a positive stop for your T-bevel when you're trying to get your angles. The new one only has a line so that you have to do it visually. So if you find yourself with a T-bevel in your hands a lot, check out the new aluminum SawSet Pro. This is a tool that I think will last you a lifetime. Well, that covers four potential holiday gift items for woodworkers, and only one more thing to take a look at. This next item we're gonna take a look at has everything to do with not being a prick next time you go to select lumber for your next project. I don't wanna look like a prick. So maybe it's just me, but I always feel a little bit bad when I go to the lumber store and prick their wood to find a piece of wood that's got the moisture content of something that I can use. 
Not to mention with these moisture meters, you're really not getting an accurate read on the moisture content of that wood. And that's because moisture meters like this typically only do a surface reading or a couple millimeters below that. But if you know anything about wood movement, it's not just the surface of that wood that moves, it's the entire board. So we need to dig a little bit deeper into that wood, and that's what this next item does. So what is this item? Well, let's check it out. This next item is the Eric Hill Pinless Wood Moisture Meter. Let's open this box and check it out. So inside the box, you're going to get the moisture meter itself along with the user manual and a carrying case. It also comes with three AAA batteries so you can get started right away. So what makes this moisture meter different than all the rest? Well, there's a couple of things. The first thing is this measures up to 50 millimeters deep. That's almost two inches. You would know. <laughs> Let's take a look at how this works and we'll see some of the other features that make this tool unique. If we take a look at the front of the moisture meter, you can see the power button is located on the very front. If we place the meter on the wood, you can see the moisture content of this wood, approximately 6%. If we take a look at the back of the tool, you can see there's a black pad that you place up against your wood. And it's recommended that you have a piece of wood that's at least 30 millimeters thick. Now this moisture meter has four modes. Let's take a look at what those are. If we scroll through the menu, you can see there's a mode for softwoods, walls, hardwoods, as well as masonry. Now for this channel, we're more concerned about hardwoods and softwoods, but if you do have a wall that you're concerned about moisture, you can check it with this tool. So let's dig into those wood modes, specifically the softwood mode. If we look at the bottom of the tool, you can see there's seven modes listed here, but there's actually nine, and these correspond to the density of those softwoods. To change the mode of this tool, you simply do a short press on the top, and you'll see the mode change right up here in the right-hand corner. So depending on what soft wood you're looking at, the tool will automatically calibrate for the density of that wood. And if you can't find your specific soft wood on the bottom of the tool, there's a couple of pages with different soft woods. If we flip the meter over, there's also another cheat sheet. It's cheating. It's 100% cheating. If we take a look below the sensor, you can see there's a cheat sheet for the four different modes, wall, masonry, softwood, and hardwood, as well as what the green, yellow, and red readings mean. And those colored readings are easy to see at the top of the tool. Now pretty much all my wood is showing up as green on the top of this meter, but if I place my hand underneath the machine, you can see it go from yellow to red. You'll also hear that auditory beep that lets you know that you're in the wet danger territory getting wet with sound. Now, a few minutes ago, I mentioned the hardwood setting. Now, this is used when you're looking at a hardwood, but you're not quite sure what species that hardwood is. The hardwood mode will give you a general readout for hardwoods, but if you know the species, you're better off using one of the softwood modes, as the softwood modes include woods like poplar, cherry, elm, maple, and even oak. I'm not quite sure why they included the hardwoods in those softwood modes, but they're there, and those are the ones you should use. The last feature that this tool has is you can set an automatic alarm anytime this tool reaches a certain percentage. So if you don't want to go above 16%, you can set this to 16%, and anytime you do a reading on a piece of wood and it goes above that, this thing will beep at you. So a pretty nice little moisture meter. I really like the fact that it's got cheat sheets on the front and the back of the tool so you don't have to go scouring through the user manual. I also really like the fact that this thing doesn't have the two little prongs that dig into your wood. This means that it goes deeper into the wood, almost two inches deep, which means it's going to be a little bit more accurate and prevent that wood movement down the road. Well, that's gonna do us for today, folks. I really appreciate you joining me on checking out these five unique tools that are great for holiday gifts for that woodworker in your life, even if it is a gift for yourself. If you haven't already, make sure you hit that subscribe button, leave a like and leave a comment as it really does help out this small woodworking channel. Until next time, take care as always.